All right, I'm gonna show you how to do a couple uh, different bar uh, respiratory barriers when you're using uh, this type of mask, a kind of medic CPAP. This one's the GoPAP, okay? We also have another version of it, this one. Okay, these are meant to be worn, saves a lot of intubations, really good stuff. Okay, the thing is you gotta protect yourself because these don't have a filter on them, okay? So if you have a patient who's on COVID, roll out, you don't want them blasting that stuff out, okay? You notice there's little holes here and that's where the exhalation is, okay? Same thing with this, it's an exhalation right there and you don't want that blown in your face, right? So what we, what we have to do is we have to create a barrier, okay, to help protect us, okay? Uh, right now, both of this company is working on a filter for that, just for COVID-19, they're just not ready and they'll probably be ready any second, but in the meantime, we could do a hack and we could put one of these filters on, okay? So right now, currently, if you're gonna put your patient on one of these, this apparatus comes off and you would put the filter here, okay? Which fits on the mask, however, it does not fit on the apparatus. So we gotta make this fatter, basically. We gotta make it so it stays, okay? So I'm gonna use a couple things that you have on your rig. So here we have four types of tape that, you're, that are commonly on your uh, ambulance and your rig. We have Coban, we have uh, this regular transfer, transparent tape. Uh, we have uh, this foam, microfoam tape, and also uh, good old duct tape, okay? So we have this, if you have any of these, you could do this uh, and modify this, okay? Because what we're doing again is we're just trying to make this filter that doesn't fit, fit, okay? So I kind of prearranged some of this stuff, okay? So let's first start with this tape, okay? Which is probably the most common tape everyone has on them. And we want to make this fit. So what are we gonna do? I kind of pre-measured it out for you. I'm gonna put this tape here, and we're gonna go around 15 times. Ready? One, two, three, four. It doesn't have to be perfect. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, there we go, okay? So now, this should fit snugly on there. There we go, okay? So now we have our filter in line, okay? Again, this, uh, the thing with, with this, it may add some resistance, okay? Uh, but we're, we wanna protect everyone, okay? Because we have our exhalation here, okay? And we have a closed mask, and then we have this filter protecting everyone. Okay, so that's ready for that. And this FY, these go paths, these are the same, the same diameter, inner diameter. So what I did with that filter, I could do with this one too. See how we go here and that should fit perfectly there too, okay? So you don't have to change it for the different type of mask. This has this uh, orange part on it, okay? We also have this foam tape, which works great, okay? You notice that I took out about a dollar uh, length size of the foam tape. And what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna cut it into, rip it, hand rip it into strips that'll fit on the filter, okay? So I want to, I'm going to do a thin strip. Do your best. Okay, you don't have to cut it or anything. There's one. And we're going to use all, we're going to cut this into three strips and use all three strips, okay? It's not the easiest thing to rip. And then wrap it tight, like that. And then we'll put the last parts of this on there. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? But that should fit on this. There we go, it's a tight fit. That fits, it goes on the mask, okay? If you feel uncomfortable that it might come off, this probably won't. It has a rubberized tape on it. But go ahead and put a little piece of tape on the outside, okay? 
And just to show you that fits perfectly well. On this one as well. Okay, so we have this one that fits just as well on that one. There we go. And we have an airtight. Then we have our duct tape. And you notice, I already cut out about two strips. And I would say this is about three feet, yeah, about a meter, okay? And I'm gonna slice it in half, just so it'll fit on the area there, okay? And I'm gonna use both of these. Now the duct tape, you still kind of have to get it right. You don't want to put a lot of holes in there, okay? It does help too if you could pre-do this and not do it when the patient's in uh, respiratory distress, okay? Hold on, sir. I'm going to have to prepare your filter. Yeah, try to get this done before you, you get on scene, okay? Or if you're, you anticipate using a CPAP, okay? Or have your partner do it, okay? While you're attending to the patient. But that's enough. See, this, that one of those is good. See this? Okay. I sliced two and a half just because what are you gonna do with this? And then if you screw up, you could use that one, okay? But you just need that one strip and that should do it. Just like that. With the other mask as well. Fits like a glove. And there we go. Okay, so we have those protected for you. So we have a filter made with each type of tape. We have the duct tape. And as a visual, just to show you what we're, how much we need for it. About, about three feet, about a meter. Uh, for the foam tape, we need about a dollar. Uh, length, dollar size length and for our uh, clear tape you want to wrap it 15 times around okay now what about the coban now the, this is useless don't even think about using this okay but you got other tapes to use uh, to use as a makeshift uh, uh, filter pack for these type of Medic CPAP things, the GoPaps, okay? Again, they are working, the, the manufacturer is working on these uh, quickly and they should have them out to you. But in the meantime, you can protect yourself. All right, thank you for watching.